Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a thumb controlled image gallery using XML. In fact, uh, let's first see the publish preview. So that's a control enter on the keyboard to export the Swift and test the movies. Now people, um, straight away you can see four thumbnails here at the bottom of the SWF file. Now all the four thumbs have been generated or pulled up um, using the XML file and an external folder where all the you know thumb images are kept. Um, if I click on these thumbs you'll see that the respective pictures actually show up in the uh, the main area which is at the top okay and it fades in as well. It fades in from a 30% to 100% over um, three fourths of a second and that's something that uh, you can alter uh, that's something entirely up to you right so if I click on the second thumb uh, the second picture the respective picture for the respective thumb also loads in and fades in okay here is the third one and this is the fourth picture okay so it's a fade in gallery it's a thumb control gallery the main images as well as the thumbs are kept externally in different folders namely images folder and uh, a thumb folder thumbs folder and we are using xml to uh, pull up the images inside the flash interface so basically uh, we are loading the assets which are lying externally through xml and action script 3 let me show you that folder which is housing all the assets right so um, this folder called food although uh, you could have chosen uh, a different name that's absolutely all right uh, is housing this uh, flash cs6 file this is the resulting FLA file sorry swift file and this is where all the assets are if i double click on the assets folder uh, you can see that we have the images folder if I double click on that you can see there are four images uh, the size is 588 by 441 for each and every image okay we also have a thumbs folder if I go inside the thumbs folder we have uh, yet uh, four more images but they are actually just a condensed size of the original image the original image was a lot uh, bigger this is 150 by 112 uh, pixels for all the and the names have been kept the same food one food two food three and food four which were also the names of the main or the bigger images which were 588 by 441 food one food two food three and food four in the format jpg okay and uh, people this is the xml uh, document let me open it up uh, for you right so a very uh, small file actually which i created in dreamweaver although i can uh, open it up in notepad as well just the way i've done right now so we have the opening images uh, tag which also means that i should ideally have a closing one which i have which I, which I should have a closing tag, right? And um, then sandwiched inside the images tag, we have the image tags, which are self-closing, which have the file attributes uh, pointing to the file, but telling us which file it is. So it's food one, food two, food three, and food four, JPG. So people, uh, just in case you don't know how XML works, uh, what's the use of XML? XML is used to transport data. XML doesn't do it anything by itself. It just uh, helps you transport data. Okay. So um, tomorrow, if you were uh, going to add more pictures, so what you need to do is you need to dump in more pictures inside the uh, images uh, folder and the thumbs folder, right? And then you need to update the XML file in accordance with the new pictures being added. So, you know, you need to add something like food5.jpg, food6.jpg and have more image tags out here. Okay. Cool. Uh, this, as I said, was the resulting Swift file. Let me double click uh, the file for you. 
and uh, as I said uh, it's working to a perfection All right okay uh, I've decided to um, make this tutorial into two parts okay I'm about to terminate part number one and part number two people I'll be taking you through uh, the action script okay but before that let me uh, explain the timeline uh, as well so people as you can see on the timeline I have three layers the topmost layer is the action script tree layer now the middle layer is the main loader now if I were to hide the main loader you would see that the you know the UI loader component which was sitting out here at the top of the stage has disappeared okay and I have the thumbs if I hide the thumbs you can see all the four thumbs uh, actually disappear as well right uh, have a look out here people that uh, the main UI loader component I've called as main loader okay the thumbs have been called thumb 0 thumb 1 thumb 2 and thumb 3 it's important that you don't change these names because uh, otherwise the script won't fire properly all right and uh, apart from the main loader and the thumbs there's nothing on the stage uh, everything is happening through the action script also uh, people uh, I would like to tell you that the main loader or the main UI loader component is of the size 588 441 which matches the width and the height of the pictures the thumbs thumb 1 uh, thumb 0 thumb 1 thumb 2 and thumb 3 uh, have a width and height of 150 by 112 which matches the size of the thumbs as well cool uh, the stage size has been kept uh, 620 by 575 but uh, you may be using different picture sizes and uh, different thumb sizes so you should obviously change the size of the stage as well makes a lot of sense cool now the only thing uh, that is left for me is to open up the script and just just uh, uh, show it to you as i said i'll be explaining it in the next part uh, also people would like to point out that the background color is a is uh, one of my favorite colors or favorite shades it's a pan sign triple three triple three cool let me open up the as3 layer for you All right so we have around 30 uh, lines of uh, action script people okay so as you can see i've used xml i've used the url loader class right um, i've also used the tween class to apply the fade in over 18 frames which is equal to uh, three fourths of a second all right and the script isn't too big right so uh, just in case people you do not have the stamina and the patience to wait for the second part of the tutorial what you can do is you can go to my website which is http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net and under downloads <coughs> beg your pardon uh, you'll be able to um, download the assets everything that uh, involves this uh, project uh, it'll be under the name food.xml it'll be a zip file uh, food xml it'll be a zip file so you can just download the zip file uh, replace the uh, images folder and dump your own images remove mine go inside the thumbs folder remove my thumbs put a, put your own and then accordingly you'll need to add the thumbs uh, you'll need to go inside the flower file open the flower file and you'll need to add um, the thumbs so i have four thumbs you need to add more just in case you want to add more images right so we need to make uh, mild uh, alterations cool so people uh, I hope you like the tutorial uh, so far and I also hope to see you very soon in the next part you have a good day guys bye bye peace